Far away from the shoreline of Chile around here of the Pacific Sea, in the midst of the immensity of the sea, inside this void, there is an island. Which is broadly called Easter Island. However, it isn't popular for its name, or being distant from everyone else in the tremendousness of the sea. Maybe it is well known for the Goliath sculptures that are viewed as here. Who have fabricated these monster sculptures tracked down in this far-off island in the Pacific Sea? Is it true or not that they were outsiders, or people like us? Indeed welcome to the R recordings. Watchers, it was the year 1722 for example quite a while back. At the point when an European wayfarer Jacob Raghavim, erroneously arrived at this island. He saw numerous sculptures standing with its back towards the ocean. The sculptures seemed to be Goliaths which were fastidiously cut out of stone. Jacob was awestruck seeing this, and afterward he further investigated the island. He observed that the island is loaded up with many sculptures. Some are standing and some are laying on the ground. The day when this pilgrim landed on this island was an Easter Sunday, that is the manner by which Easter Island got its name. At the time a not very many individuals used to live on this island, furthermore, they used to call it Rapa Nui. Indeed, even those individuals can't really understand who, and when these sculptures were constructed. Also, from that point forward, it has been investigated by a ton of archaeologists and specialists. Many individuals came here just to see this puzzling island, also, many needed to uncover the mystery. With 300 years of exertion, paleologists presently have assembled proof, which has brought us nearer to settling this secret. Easter Island is remote to such an extent that, the adjoining Picairn Island is 2,075 kilometers away. Yet, it is uninhabited. Furthermore, the island with a populace of 500 individuals is 2,600 kilometers away, known by the name Mangareva Island. Easter Island comes in the region of Chile, also, it is 3,512 kilometers away from the bank of Chile. At present airplane is the best way to arrive at this island. It requires about 5 hours to arrive at Easter Islands from Chile. Very much like a typical estimated city, this island has huge number of Goliath sculptures, also, these sculptures are called Moai. Large numbers of the sculptures have eyes and others don't. While long nose, sharp jawline, flathead furthermore, disappointed looks gave them a one-of-a-kind character. As per a gauge the sculptures were inherent the 13th 100 years, for example a long time back. A ton of sculptures are standing gladly on the island's boundary, also, for the vast majority of them just their countenances are noticeable. Yet, during an uncovering in 2012 an astounding reality was found. It was tracked down that these sculptures have their entire body, which was covered inside the ground. Among them the tallest sculptures level is 33 feet. That is all there is to it level is like a traveler transport. While its weight is 90,000 kg. To try and move it, it could requires a strength of 500 individuals, not to mention lifting it. The astounding thing specialists found during research here is that, they tracked down a fragmented sculpture. Authorities on the matter agree its level is 70 feet and after fulfillment it will weigh around 300 ton. Making the sculpture by cutting the stone, and then convey it to the different area in the island, is an undertaking which appeared unthinkable for people. Hence for a long time, it has been conjectured that outsiders got it done. Be that as it may, with present-day research this hypothesis was totally dismissed. Researchers and archaeologists have seen as quite a large number proof, that recommend that these sculptures were fabricated from the volcanic debris stone, tracked down on this island. That implies these sculptures were based on this island itself. As an examination when specialists attempted to cut out only the eyes, it required three days to complete this work. This work was finished utilizing an extraordinary instrument which was utilized in old times to cut rocks. Most authorities on the matter would agree, a group of 12 works might require a year to cut a standard sculpture. Seeing the inadequate sculptures it was expected to be that, the cutting work was finished on the enormous bits of rocks which were laying there. At the point when they finished the cutting of the upper part, 
they used to remove it from the remainder of the stone. In spite of the fact that scientists addressed the secret behind the cutting, be that as it may, presently it was difficult for them to comprehend how these monster sculptures were brought, from the volcanic site to various areas that are somewhere far off. Since one Goliath sculpture weighs around 14 elephants, indeed, even at present time without machines it appears to be difficult to do. To find out, many fallen sculptures were assessed. Also, there was something normal among this multitude of fallen sculptures. Sculptures which were seen as fallen on any slop had their countenances on the ground. Be that as it may, sculptures fallen with their back to the ground were tracked down close to rise climb. By seeing this, obviously while they were being shipped, they were in the standing position also, during the vehicle they fell and broke. Specialists trust that these sculptures were adjusted utilizing the ropes, also, gradually they were made to walk. Indeed, sculptures were made to walk to arrive at various areas of the island. To make this statement, a substantial sculpture was constructed, what's more, it was adjusted by tying three ropes on various sides. What's more, when the sculpture was pulled furthermore, shifted at a particular point then incredibly the sculpture began pushing ahead. In this manner the sculpture was moved to a distance of 50 feet furthermore, this demonstrated that, with this procedure the occupants of Easter Island used to move these sculptures. However, there was one secret as yet still needing to be tackled, who are these individuals who assemble great many sculptures? Furthermore, what occurred here that made them to leave the sculptures deficient? A review guaranteed that once 17,500 individuals used to live in Rapa Nui or Easter Island. They were Polynesian, who came here in 300 AD for example a long time back. Incredibly around then the whole island appeared to be unique. There used to be a thick timberland, also, many bits of proof were tracked down supporting this case. 25 distinct dust proof has been tracked down in Easter Islands in which the most elevated sum was of palm trees. What has been going on with that thick timberland? Specialists trust that deforestation was finished for an enormous scope here. The fact that these palm trees makes it acknowledged were of no utilization for these individuals since they were ranchers. They required a land where they could do agribusiness, what's more, where they could effectively move the sculptures. What's more, that was the explanation they cut the backwoods with their own hands. Because of the enormous scope deforestation the whole biological system ends up being upset. In any case, the impacts introduced itself steadily like sluggish toxin. Furthermore, exactly the same thing occurred here too. At first, they couldn't feel anything. Be that as it may, steadily the dirt became fruitless. Due to this, there was shortage of nourishment for islanders. Furthermore, toward the end they began going after one another. Numerous skeletons and bones were viewed as in the island that contains proof of injury. This proposes that a nationwide conflict broke over here what's more, for the most part ladies were focused on. Because of the lower number of female populace in Easter Islands progressively the populace got lessened. Also, finally, individuals who were left here moved from this spot. Today this island is part of UNESCO World Legacy. Seeing these sculptures, it is hard to accept that they were worked by people. Were these sculptures worked for strict purposes or did they have some other reason? Various scientists have various speculations in regards to this. Tell me in the remarks what you feel about it. Trust you will like what's more, share this video. My ardent appreciation for your caring remarks. We'll meet you in another astonishing video.